Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all my pickups for the month of December, so stay tuned. So overall, December was a light month as far as releases coming out. Um, I did pick up a few items, so let me show you what I got. First up, I got um, Slaughter High. This right here was one of the ones I needed to complete my um, Vestron video collection. So I picked this one up from Amazon and I picked up the Wishmaster collection from Amazon. These were the remaining two that I needed and I had some um, gift cards available from Amazon. So I went ahead and purchased this and got these delivered today. So I'm going to go ahead and link the video up of all my Vestron series um, Blu-rays if you'd like to check that out. Okay, also I got Benji's uh, very own Christmas story. Um, I have all the other Benji uh, Blu-rays, so I wanted to go ahead and get this one added to the collection. And also I got Benji off the leash. So these are the last two Benji um, Blu-rays that I needed to add to my collection, so I got those. Okay, from the Disney Movie Club, I got 101, 101 Dalmatians. Um, it has a, this is the limited release, it has a nice slip cover. So I picked this up from the Disney Movie Club. I also got Olaf's Frozen Adventure and Mickey's Christmas Carol. So those are the three So those are the three Blu-rays that I got from the Disney Movie Club. And of course, I picked up The Lion King, the 4K release um, with a slip cover. Um, very nice addition. Okay, also from Disney this month, we had um, the limited edition 4K release of The Lion King. This is the Target edition. Um, not very impressed with what they did on this particular release. Um, I wish they would have done a nice book like they did with the prior releases. But overall, I had to get this one. Okay, um, from Shout Factory, I got the collector's edition of Dances with Wolves still book. Um, this is what I bought from Amazon, also using some of my Amazon gift cards. Um, so overall, I, I really like the way that um, Shout Factory does their still book releases. So I want to add that one to my collection. And then I got the 4K edition um, of The Lion King, the Best Buy exclusive still book, which looks really nice. And from Best Buy, I also got Baby Driver, the pop art series. I really like the way that this cover looks. Um, it looks really good. And I also picked up Spider-Man Homecoming, the um, pop art still book release. And I got the Equalizer 2 um, pop art still book from Best Buy. Really like this one. It goes very well with the original um, Equalizer pop art still book, so I like this. And another pop art still book is Venom. I um, haven't had a chance to watch Venom yet, but looking forward to checking it out. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've heard some bad things about it, but overall, I want to just check it out for myself. But I really like the way that this still book looks. And I also got the Target exclusive Venom. Um, book edition and I picked up Venom the 4k released I really like this slip cover okay I also picked up Schindler's List 4k um, never seen this movie I do own a couple of copies of it but this is my um, 4k release of it and I really like the way it looks got a very nice slip cover and I picked up the house with a clock in its walls uh, I meant to see this one in the theaters so and never got a chance to do it um, but I picked up the 4K release. I really like the slipcover on this one. Okay, I also got a Simple Favor. Um, heard some really good things about this. Haven't had a chance to check it out yet. And Assassin Assassination Nation. Heard a lot of good things about this one. Haven't had a chance to, to check this one out either. Um, I got The Nun. I do enjoy The Conjuring films. I did see this one in the theaters. Um, I enjoyed it for what it was. I know a lot of people hate on it, but to me it was okay. It goes very well with the other movies, and um, so I picked this one up. Okay, another movie that I haven't heard very much good stuff about is The Predator, um, but I really like the still book, so I picked the still book up. Okay, one of my favorite movies from this um, year 2018 is um, Mission Impossible Fallout. I really enjoyed it. Got the still book from Best Buy. Kind of a plain looking still book. I wish that they would have done more with it. But overall, um, I really love the movie and it's a nice still book. And of course, I picked up the Mission Impossible Fallout, the regular edition. I'm hoping that we'll get a, 
a full release of all the 4K editions in a box set. Um, so I just got the standard release. And I also got Westworld, um, the Season 2 steelbook to go along with my Season 1. I've only seen <clears throat> probably the first five episodes of Westworld Season 1. So looking forward to checking this one out. Okay, some more steelbooks. These are the steelbooks I got from Zavi UK. I got Unbreakable. Very nice looking still book. Have not seen this movie yet. I'm looking forward to checking it out. And then I got Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 with the lenticular magnetic card on the front. I got Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3 still book to go along with Season 1 and Season 2. And I got this Mondo still book of The Little Mermaid. I um, really like this one. It has a clear um, slip on it. I also picked up Chicken Little still book um, to go along with my other Disney releases. Um, the UK does a lot of Disney releases on still books, so I had to add that one to my collection. Another favorite movie of mine from 2018 is Hereditary, and they have a very nice still book um, on Zavi UK, so I, I picked this one up. And then lastly, my Ant Man vs. the Wasp came in. Actually, Ant Man and the Wasp. I don't know why I said versus, but very similar to what we have in the U.S. as far as the Best Buy release, <clears throat> but this does come with a 3D disc. Okay, I also got um, Community, the complete series. Um, this is a Blu-ray release that I got from Mill Creek. Um, I did an unboxing video, so if you'd like to check that out, I'm going to link it up top. Okay, I also received Happy Endings, the um, Blu-ray release. Um, I also did an unboxing of this, which I'm going to link up top if you'd like to check it out. Uh, me and my wife just rewatched all the episodes from the three seasons. It's very, very funny. I highly recommend it if you like a good laugh. I really enjoy the show. Okay, um, got Rescue Me, the complete series. Um, I did an unboxing of that. Um, if you'd like to check that one out, I'm going to link it up top. Very good series. I've seen every episode of this. I'm ready to revisit this show and looking forward to checking it out. Very nice um, release. Okay, I also got Knight Rider, the complete series. This is the DVD release. I did a unboxing video of it, if you'd like to check it out. Um, have not seen all the episodes of Knight Rider. I, I do remember catching this on TV when it came out, but very few episodes. Um, but uh, Mill Creek sent this over to me, so I, I did an unboxing video. And then lastly, I got Quantum Leap, which I have not done any videos on yet. The box came in pretty beat up. So I'm going to see if I can get a replacement for that. Plus, this one's already released on Blu-ray, so I may just end up purchasing the Blu-ray release. But anyways, that is all the items that I picked up in the month of December. Like I said, it was a very light month, which really helped on my wallet since I spent so much money in the past couple of months with all the releases that came out. So this was a very light month. But overall, they had some really good releases. Um, let me know in the comments below which of these you were able to pick up, um, which of these that you like. Maybe some of these are some items that you might have got for Christmas, so i really like to um, see what you have to say about it. But I really do appreciate you watching my videos. If you like what you saw here, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. Um, also, please leave a comment below. I really enjoy seeing what y'all have to say. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. So you can always find me there. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. I do upload videos once or twice a week, sometimes more. So remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I do upload a new video. But I hope you all had a great um, Christmas, and I hope you all have a great um, New Year's. I'll see you later.